Hello guys, welcome on my flight field. Today it's all about a mate flight with the FPV 900 from Tech One. I've seen the review of Bruce and other than the flappy control surfaces, it looked like a good FPV wing. More stable than the S800 that I reviewed earlier this year. My hopes are quite high for this plane. Got it from Banggood. Thanks Banggood for sending me stuff to review. It's, I guess it's around $150. It's kind of a knockoff of this race wing that might be of a better build quality, but what I've seen so far from this thing here is quite well. As I said, you have to reinforce the control surfaces because if you fly fast, the reflex that you need for this wing gets flattened out by the speed and then it dives nose down. Mini quad style center section. It has a good T motor F80 2500 kV. The three bladed prop, pretty basic. I just have the speed controller that it comes with and the motor and FPV transmitter, easy UHF receiver here. As an FPV cam, I'm using the Eagle 2 in front here. It will be a test, uh, a good flight test of the Eagle 2 as well. See if my radio is set up correctly and then I'll do the maiden flight. Okay guys, wish me luck for the maiden flight. Not a lot of wind today, throw it in its destiny. <coughs> Always nervous before the first flight, I can tell you. Yeah, I, I use more throw for the first flight. Flying only half throttle, really gently. Doesn't need the up trim. Flies really nice. Yeah, really precise to fly. I'll bring it in for a landing now. Hope I can land in front of the camp. It was a flary landing, <laughs> a very flary landing. Okay, I'm surely not in focus, but I was focused on the plane, so, <laughs> you know, love how it flew. I flew it in uh, 1.2, 1.3 centimeters of throw on each control surface. It has plenty of thrust with 4S, of course. It might be a little bit touchy in curves if you do really hard curves with not too enough speed. Of course, it can, can go wrong. So next up, FPV. Let's see how it works. It takes some power, for sure. What's wrong is that the battery could move and it's almost unplugged, so only a few millimeters away from disaster. So make sure to properly fasten the battery. Okay, off for a second start. This time with FPV being recorded. Let's just see if the FPV downlink is fine. The first two flights, the GPS antenna was plugged in the wrong way. As soon as I fixed that, my OSD showed all the values, including the speed. Are you satisfied with the build? Super. Speed pass. Full throttle. Fuchtzehn 
1,1 Volt. Ah, schön geflared. Okay, so for the next flight, I have the Legend 2 up front here. And with that weight in front, I can move these larger batteries a bit further back, like this. And you really have to make sure that this battery stays in place, of course. As I've seen on my land of line of sight landing, three bladed props. You see they don't have enough ground, ground clearance, which is not good for the lifespan of this prop. I'm ready for a maiden FPV flight as soon as this heli has landed. But not much traffic on the field today. Yesterday I was the lawnmower man here. It was a lot of fun. I can show you the, the time lapse now. Ich hoffe, ich habe alles drauf in den kleinen Display. Ja, ja. Ist wie nix, ist auf alle Fälle. The next day GPS worked and I could do some speed runs to show you guys the speed of this thing. And it's awesome.
Here I just wanted to show you once again how good the image of the Eagle 2 really is. There is no situation where you have bad lightning, so really, really helpful. That's how it looks from the ground perspective. It should have been broad enough. And I guess the wing should be here somewhere. Oh, I hear a beep. Oh, there it is. It just stopped beeping now. It's funny. Everything's still on. Ah. Okay. Okay, maybe I had a fail safe. Oh, there's a little bit of damage, but not too much. Here. I think all is fine. Yeah, if you don't crash, you don't try hard enough. <laughs> okay guys, hope you enjoyed this review and flight session with the FPV 900. On my second FPV flight, I now found that I had too much throw on the first flights. And you have too much throw and also expo. Most of the times you fly around the center and you don't need this extreme pull. But if you do too much control input, it will not do only up elevator and make a fine loop. They also did some nasty rolls. So just reducing the rates worked fine. I have now around one centimeter of up and one centimeter of down throw. And that works just fine. So flies okay. Uh, I flew it with a 1500 milliamp battery around 7 to 8 minutes. It likes to be flown fast. If it's flown fast, it's stable. So the reinforced control surfaces are nice. I might want to make this surface here nicer and have it smoother because this can catch some air now. I will also try to tape it more and make it look better. I really like how easy it is to access the main fuselage. This thing is just screwed down with four screws. It's uh, easy to take it off and adjust things here like cable routing. I opted to move video transmitter and control receiver out of the frame for optimal transmission and reception quality. So I have a lot of space in there which is nice. Can I recommend it to everyone? I'm not too sure. It is kind of an advanced plane. It is fun in proximity style flying. It's loud on four cells, so this props uh, screams. As I said, the prop will not live long if you don't have protection on the bottom, because on faster landings it's, it's deadly for the prop. I try to flare on the landings, not to not have that much speed but yeah it will at some point just break I guess and it was a nice and easy build. I used hot glue for most of the gluing here. Okay so thanks for watching questions down in the comment box. 
check out the link in the descriptions for everything. Get it off Banggood. Thanks Banggood for sending it. Thanks you for watching and subscribing. Bye.